once again. It is time once again. Woo! We're going to do some scary stuff again. So today, I'm on my roll of watching scary videos on here and trying to debunk everything. So today, we are going to watch a video. I think it was just posted within the last month. This was posted by... A uh, YouTuber by the name of Scary Comp. I guess Scary Compilation is what I'm guessing what they're going for. Uh, I've watched one or two of his videos already. It looks like he just posts a bunch of different things he finds online that people post their ghost stuff. So when it comes to po doing these ghost videos, I I'm just going to put the disclaimer out there right now. I was not at any of these places. I do not know what their circumstance is. So with that being said, if I... I'm not there to witness it, so I'm going to look, try to debunk everything they say as a skeptic. Once again, I was not there, so I'm not going to discredit what they're saying. I'm going to find a different alternative to what it can be. I don't want these people, if they ever see these videos, I don't want them to see, think that I'm discrediting them. I'm just going with what it could be as a skeptic. Uh, as you all know, I am a ghost hunter, and I enjoy doing this stuff for fun. It's, for me, it's just fun. So... I am going to watch this video. We're going to try to debunk as much things as we can out of here and give alternate reasons to what these people are seeing. So with that being said, let's check this out. A TikTok user known as BV11 has recently disclosed a harrowing on. experience with paranormal occurrences in his Texas home spanning the past two years. According to his account, the intensity of these phenomena has escalated to the point where he finds himself unable to sleep without the comfort of illuminated surroundings. Hmm. One fateful night, with a friend staying over, BV-11 is startled by peculiar noises emanating from his bedroom closet. Just real quick, y'all. If y'all hear like a fan blowing in the background, it's the air conditioner. That thing blows so loud in this room right here. Lord have mercy. Aiden, get up. What? Get up. Get up. Fuck, you recorded me for me. You hear? Listen. Fucking sleep. <laughs> he said, fuck off. It's a big closet. I'm fucking getting out of this room. I can't sleep in here, this shit. BV-11, determined to capture evidence of the unnerving occurrences plaguing his home, awakens his skeptical friend, and together they investigate the source of the unsettling noises emanating from the closet. However, their search yields no tangible explanation, leaving BV Oven's friend exasperated by the ongoing ordeal. Undeterred, BV Eleven remains steadfast. So it sounded like there's knocking in there. So if the video they were showing at the beginning was their house out in those woods, there could be an animal in there. Maybe because. You know, animals get inside the roofs of houses sometimes, and they can get down in between the walls, and they can make noises like that. So that possibly could be what's going on. Um, I mean, that's it. for some reason it seems like everybody has paranormal experiences coming from closets. I, I I don't know what it is about a closet. I guess the ghosts like to stay in the closet. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> do do. <Shh. laughs> um, that, yeah. I don't know. It could be so, there could be an animal in there in between the walls of the closet. I don't know. I saw he had the um, camouflage uh, bed spread on there or a cover over top of his bed. So, like I said, it, he possibly lives in the country where there is lots more animals than there are in the city. So it could have been something that fell down inside the walls on that one. In his mission to document the chilling phenomena, during a solitary moment late one night. He hears unsettling sounds resonating from the hallway adjacent to his bedroom. Swiftly, he seizes his phone and begins recording, unaware of the chilling events that are about to unfold. Okay, guys, I think this might be the last time. A 
peculiar, inexplicably shaped dark figure suddenly advances towards BV-11, prompting him to hastily shut his bedroom door in a moment of terror. The question remains, is bv Owen's home truly haunted by malevolent forces, or is this series of events merely an elaborate hoax? So, I see it. And I, I don't like to say the word hoax. I mean, some people do, tr do these things to try to become TikTok famous, so they, you know, do things like this. But I don't know what year this was. So, I mean, if this was an older phone, which kind of might, looks like it might be if they're taking pictures with a phone, it could be pixelation from the IRs on the camera trying to pick up the, you know, pick up the dark, uh, sh shine in the darkness. So that's what that could be. I don't. I see what they're talking about right there. You can see the, the shape right there, but I don't see it advance. Hold on. Let me know your thoughts on I this. Don't know. Upon discovering movement beneath uh, her blanket, uh, hey. events took an enigmatic. Hold up! Wait, wait! Did you see that? Hold on. Turn for this young woman. Little did she anticipate the surreal spectacle that awaited her. A mouse. Hit it with something. Hit it with the, hit it with the bat or something. It's got the ghost of a mouse in there. blanket on there. Is there something under that other blanket? So there's both of them lifted up. The spectators were know. intrigued, prompting them to encourage her to confront the anomaly directly. Without hesitation, she decided to heed their suggestion and make an attempt. Try catch it. Upon meticulous scrutiny, there is a notable absence of deceptive elements within the footage. Uh -huh. No discernible traces of manipulation, such as visible strings or evident editing artifacts, editing. are apparent upon close examination. The original poster has forthrightly disclosed the presence of two fans directed towards the bed. Yeah, a ceiling-mounted fan and another situated at the room's periphery. That ain't gonna make it do that. Moreover, though. they have staunchly maintained that the video remains unaltered in any capacity. I don't think it's altered. Feel I don't think the video's altered. I don't know, unless they have a ghost mouse in their house. I, I just don't see, I don't see how that's paranormal. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I, I just, I mean, it, they could be using a small piece of fishing line to make something under there. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't seem. There's nothing that would be paranormal. That Now, if it was a person's body image that was underneath there, then we might have something to talk about. But something that little. Like I said, you got a um, ghost mouse. If that's the case, then who cares? Feel free to believe me or not, but this is not like a video edit. This is not a toy under the bed or like a blow dryer under the bed. There are two fans that are blowing, not trying to hide anything. Um, but like I screamed the first time I saw this, my boyfriend threw his phone. The nature of this phenomenon is perplexing. There is speculation that it might be attributed to a spectral entity. <laughs> Like Perhaps said, colloquially <laughs> referred funny. to as a ghost mouse. A ghost mouse. <laughs> or possibly <laughs> the manifest. <laughs> I haven't seen this video before, y'all. I don't, don't think I've seen it. I've never seen this video before. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I just want y'all to remember, too, when somebody says something that is paranormal, don't automatically take that as it's a ghost. Because to me, paranormal means something that's out of the nor normal that we face every day. So, like, here in Florida, where I live, if we have a snowstorm, that would be paranormal. 
it's not something that we would normally see. So it's paranormal. So don't think it's just why I hear somebody say paranormal. It's not actually ghost related all the time. Station of a poltergeist. You know, damn poltergeist. However, alternative theories propose a more mundane explanation, such as the formation of an air pocket due to the operation of fans. Nonetheless, the erratic movement of the anomaly it beneath be. the blanket, I mean, I don't think coupled the blanket with its diminutive moving. size, challenges the plausibility of this hypothesis. The true nature of this occurrence remains elusive, Hold up. requires wait, 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 wait. further wait, wait. investigation. Dark ghost parallel beneath the blanket, coupled so, with its diminutive size, challenges the plausibility look, of this hypothesis. See? Did you see right before... Let's bring back up. So, right here, these strings, when it gets right to it, they look like they're blowing. Watch. ...ability of this hypothesis. So... The it true nature of this occurrence remains there. elusive, requires further investigation. Dark Ghost Paranormal revisited the haunted house, a location he had frequented on numerous occasions, Dark. in hopes of Ooh, capturing unexplained place. phenomena. His customary procedure involved meticulously arranging his equipment and cameras throughout what? the premises upon his arrival. However, on this particular visit, Dark Ghost made the decision to install a camera in the attic, expanding the scope of his investigation. During his presence within the house, the camera situated on the first floor captured an inexplicable occurrence. Interesting. Simultaneously, as Dark Ghost diligently explores the that? attic, a startling event unfolds. The sudden descent of a clock and the unsettling movement of a sheet upon a nearby bed. However, this occurrence merely marks the commencement of a series of peculiar events within the house. I don't know. Moments later, another camera records the anomalous behavior of various objects. Здесь. What the hell? What was that? Nothing opens. Wow. <laughs> At a certain juncture, just for the just for the record. I don't believe in orbs. What we just saw here was dust or a, or a bug. To me, I, if only way I'm going to say I see an orb, I better see something the size of a beach ball shining bright, like a big bright light that's changing colors, and it better come radiating right down in front of me. It better hover, and it better sit there and just go, it better be, a, and it better not have a shadow on the wall. It better not have a shadow on the floor. What we just saw, that was dust. A plastic object is propelled into the air by an unseen force, adding to the unsettling atmosphere within the house. Concurrently, the mirror inexplicably starts to sway, accompanied by the movement of a bag, as if influenced by an unseen entity. That's pretty interesting. Additionally, right the refrigerator door ominously closes and then abruptly reopens, 
while a faint yet discernible shadow flits across the scene. However, what unfolds next is even more chilling nature. Если здесь кто-то есть из мира духов, дай мне знак. First of all, who does this by themselves? There ain't no way I would ever go into an abandoned house in the middle of nowhere by myself. This might not be an abandoned, well, it looks like it's an abandoned house, but I ain't going to an abandoned house by myself without a bunch of people knowing I'm there. Uh, I mean, you can open yourself up to a lot of different things. I mean, and I'm not talking about paranormal and ghost things. I'm talking about people coming in there that are vagrants that might try to hurt you. And you get, if we learned anything from Scooby-Doo, we need to fear the living, not the dead. Just in, by the way, did y'all see that curtain just move right there? Let's see what else we got going here. The music is really good. The real music. Damn thing to stop. It almost seems too elaborate. I mean, do y'all feel me on this? It almost seems too elaborate. I'm not going to discredit this guy, but I've probably been on three or 4,000 investigations that I have never seen something like this happen anywhere. Back when I was younger, I would go find abandoned houses out in the middle of the woods, and I would do stuff like this. I have a friend, or, I have a friend with me because I don't do these things by myself, but I've never in a million years had anything like this. I just, that's why I said I don't know. I don't, I'm having a hard time believing this one. It's almost too extravagant. At a certain juncture, a door within one of the chambers commenced a tumultuous cycle of abrupt opening chambers. and closing, I'm gonna start executed that. with Rick. alarming velocity. Yeah. Abruptly, this frenetic activity ceased, only to be replaced by the unanticipated movement of the bells in the adjoining room, bereft of any apparent cause. This perplexing turn of events deepened his consternation. Subsequently, he opted to retire for the night, relinquishing the ongoing surveillance to the cameras, he slept there? which once more captured peculiar phenomena. So listen to the music? Man, slept there. I'm gonna go with that's that's. I don't know. I, I mean, that's not. I don't think that's paranormal. That could be something flying, locust or something. See, look how erratic it's getting. That's almost. As he slumbers, a faint shadow emerges upon the wall, oscillating with an eerie rhythm. Simultaneously, the once still bells in the adjacent room stir once more, their motion rousing him from his rest. Like Perturbed by this well. recurrence, Dark Ghost endeavors to return to sleep, yet the persistent abnormality within his dwelling precludes him from finding respite leaving him ensnared in a state of disquietude. I can't believe he's sleeping on that couch. Ugh.
That man slept through that? How you sleep through that? Don't bring the shut up. You're trying to sleep. Uh, sounds like it sounds like my stomach after I go to Taco Bell. <laughs> the door of the adjacent room sets itself into motion, followed by the subsequent rooms, culminating with an intensified force within his own quarters. A familiar shadow materializes once more, disturbing dark ghosts' slumber as it causes a plate to crash to the ground. Yet what truly startles him is the manifestation of a sinister voice, echoing through the chamber moments after Watch investigating the fallen object. Furthermore, amidst this perplexing investigation... Я не могу понять, как uh... Y'all ever noticed? If y'all ever watch these videos, they go to these houses, but you never find out where these houses are at. That's what I want to know. Where, where are these houses at? You never hear where this happens at. I want to know where this is at. I want to go check it out for myself. Because this is almost just too much. It's almost too much. That's I have never, in all the investigations I've been on, I have never seen this much activity. I've been in some creepy places. I've been in some creepy places before. Nothing like this. Здесь вообще мог оказаться бес. Что-то вообще странное. Behind his back, an unusual phenomenon unfolds. As he remains motionless, his shadow begins to exhibit peculiar behavior, moving independently of his actions. While this occurrence may seem anomalous, it could potentially be attributed to natural phenomena rather than the paranormal. Nonetheless, the question remains, has Dark Ghost, returning to this location yeah, once more, too. captured evidence of a genuine ghost on camera, thus confirming the haunting of the premises? Wow. Or alternatively, is this simply an elaborate hoax? That's what I'm wondering. Let me know your it's thoughts on this. Too In much. this video, friends and family gather around to sing happy birthday to the young girl seated before a beautifully lit birthday cake. Yeah, I may be hungry. Initially, nothing seems out of the ordinary. However, as the footage progresses, an unsettling occurrence unfolds, leaving all attendees of the party with a sense of unease. What transpired next in the video is both puzzling and disconcerting. <laughs> I hate people singing happy birthday to me. I was just talking about that with one of my friends today at work. I hate people singing happy birthday to me. My birthday's coming up soon. I hate when people sing happy birthday to me. All you can do is stand there and look like an idiot until the stupid song is over. I hate it. Hate it. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh my god, she's making a wish. I can't wish I'm getting a girlfriend. There's a lot of millions in this car. What the heck? Who's that? Who blew it out? It was Laura because he said it was Laura. Was it Carmen? That was weird. It was the 
<laughs> it was a win. Mi abuelita. What win? Is that fucking... There's no win. Oh, the rest that... of the door would open. What the heck was that? Que me da pa. There's no win here. There's, There's no, no win in here. Pa la vela. What the fuck? Carmen, did you pull the bell? Was it you? No, she would have said if she blew the bell. The eerie moment captured in the video unfolds as the candles atop the birthday cake are extinguished without any apparent human intervention. Maybe it was... Perplexingly, none of the individuals visible in the footage were observed blowing out the candles, yeah, prompting care. the birthday girl to initially suspect a presence behind her. However, upon turning around and finding no one there, the inexplicable nature of the event becomes undeniable. With no discernible draft or plausible explanation, the family is left to ponder whether a supernatural force nah. may have been at play. Nah. As viewers continue to scrutinize the footage, the question of who or what blew out the candles remains unresolved. Nah. Ryan McLean's night out in Texas takes a chilling turn in the early morning hours as he makes his way home. While halted at a railway crossing, awaiting the passage of a train, his attention is drawn to something profoundly unusual, situated just beyond the tracks. A car? It's a car. I mean, what are we seeing here? The thing is totally fucking moving. Somebody's standing next to the car. I see that. As Ryan's car idles by the railway tracks, he notices a looming, shadowy figure positioned adjacent to a vehicle, an unnerving sight in the desolation of the early morning hour. Intrigued and unsettled by this peculiar scene, Ryan instinctively begins recording with his phone. However, yeah. his astonishment mounts as the enigmatic presence appears to dissolve into nothingness before his eyes. Well, that hard leaving to do behind a palpable sense of unease. Despite, I mean, when you have the light shine, that car's light shining at you like that. You have these lights, car, cars shining at you. You got what looks like a shadow standing next to a car. Somebody was just sitting outside the car, and they got out and walked around it. I mean, yeah. Despite scrutinizing the footage meticulously, Ryan remains uncertain about the nature of what he captured. Could it be a paranormal manifestation nah. or merely an encounter with an eccentric individual in the dead of night? But the problem is, is the ambiguity. The people in this car right here would be flipping out if they didn't know who this was. And you could tell by when they drove past shortly that what you know their face looks like. Surrounding the incident only serves to amplify its eerie impact, nah, like leaving Ryan and viewers alike grappling with the unsettling possibilities. That ain't paranormal. Thanks for watching Scary Videos. That's, and that would be Here fake. we make Scary Comp, That's or fake. Scary Compilation, where we do reaction and narration on scary videos, creepy videos, scary ghost videos, That's a movie. ghosts caught on camera, of Sarah scary Logan. TikTok ghost videos, poltergeist, paranormal activity, demons and witches caught on camera paranormal investigations of ghost hunters and ghost hunting these are the scariest videos on the nah I, no, I don't think any of that stuff was paranormal I mean that one with the house either that is if that house is really like that that is the most haunted house in the world I mean it's just almost too much it was way too much I mean, if it was, you know, maybe something falling off the wall or I just, yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, anyway, so I gotta go now. <laughs> it's past my bedtime. <laughs> uh, I hope y'all have a great day. I will see y'all on the next video. Bye now.